Well, hello, you guys. Welcome to That Oregon Life. I'm Rick Dancer. I'm Kathy Dancer. And you guys, we are in Cottage Grove, Exploregon. This is a series we do called Exploregon. All day we're going to be in the Cottage Grove area uh, showing you different things uh, that, that are going on in this community. And this is the Chambers Railroad Bridge. You guys, this is the only railroad bridge this side of the Mississippi River. Um, and a few years ago, this bridge was looked like, like hell. And it was coming down and getting ripped up, and, and they went in and the city restored, they, the community went together, raised the money to restore this absolutely beautiful landmark. It goes over a creek over here. And the Chambers family was one of the original mill families here in Cottage Grove. You guys, I hope you can see how big this is. I mean, so here's, this is, it's the last covered railroad bridge in Oregon, but it's the only one this side of the Mississippi. This is what it looked like before they tore it down. And they remilled lumber to make this. So it is, a lot of the lumber is from the original um, bridge. And they made this back in here. So there's a little park. And you guys actually, this area was used to film The General with Buster Keaton uh, back in 1926. And that's one of the scenes from the movie with the train um, in here. So it's, it's this really cool little park uh, that you can come in. It has all this history going on in uh, Cottage Grove, because that's what this town is all about. So we're meeting the chamber manager here. And here we go. So we're gonna walk into this thing. This is such a cool building. Don't you love this place? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's really amazing and all the wood and you just can't believe how tall it is. You guys look at, this is the building. I mean, it's absolutely huge. And there's Travis. <laughs> we gave you quite the entrance here. Great to see quite you. Quite the again. opening here. Yeah. So that way, hun. Yeah. So, Travis. Yes, sir. So um, you are the chamber manager. Uh huh. I'm the executive director. I started here in uh, right at the end of 2011. In fact, one of my first official duties as the chamber director was to attend the dedication of this bridge right after they finished it. So that was really fun for me as a brand new person in Cottage Grove. So now, small businesses are a big part of this community. Yeah. And so, what does that mean, like for you, for the chamber, and how to, you know? It, it really me? it means everything because we are. I mean, the Chamber of Commerce is a nonprofit membership organization for businesses. We we couldn't do all the things that we do around town without the support of our members and all the things that they support. Um, I think almost every stop you guys yeah. have today is with a Chamber of Commerce member. Right? With I, I don't know. There's one exception, but um, there. Go ahead. So you guys are the covered bridge capital of Oregon. Yeah, and you got and, six and here in the area, right in the area. Six right here in Cottage Grove. You can tour them at any time. In fact, that's our number one tourist draw is uh, coming to Cottage Grove to see the bridges. We track all the things that bring people to Cottage Grove for tourism. That is hands down the number one thing that brings people here. And in fact, we we did, we've always been known as the covered bridge capital of Oregon. But I got thinking about it a few years ago. And Oregon has more than the entire west side of the country. So we went ahead and said, we're now the covered bridge capital of the entire west. Because why not? Right. Because <laughs> you can. Because yeah. we can. I yeah, think we've exactly. been on some bike rides. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, mm -hmm. because we like to ride outside. So I think we've been on some rides yeah. where, it, like, through the... And you guys, they have an amazing bike. They're super bike friendly in Cottage Grove. And later on, uh, we're gonna go out with the city and show you one of the really beautiful picturesque uh, parks where you can start on a bike trail. But we'll tell you about that later. Because you guys really have banked on the covered bridge. They really we do. We have. I mean, the covered bridges uh, and then cycling and our wine industry, those are huge uh, tourist attractions for our area. Uh, we've got two lakes right in town. I mean, I can go on my lunch break and I can drive and go sit next to the water at one of our lakes and then be back in, in an hour. It's, it's wonderful. You guys have one of the best triathlons in the, in the state. We do, uh, The yeah. Cottage Grove Triathlon is, is always rated right up there with the top ten. Yeah, it, uh, it did not take very many years, and they were in some national magazine as one of, being one of the top uh, triathlons in the whole And the uh, only Northwest. one we've ever done. <laughs> yeah, we had a blast at it. It was really, it was and, and you guys, just for those of you who like to swim in a lake, Cottage Grove Lake is really warm. Yeah. <laughs> in the summer, it's a really nice lake to, is, to yeah. practice in. That's why it's so popular for water skiing, too. Yeah. yeah. So what's going on this summer? I mean, you guys got, oh. you got, this is like also, I, I was telling people a little bit, you've had a number of movies filmed here over the years since 1926 with Buster Keaton. And yeah, Buster Keaton, the general, we just celebrated the 90th anniversary of that. Uh, was it last summer or the year before? 
Um, huge movie, still to this day rated as one of the top 100 comedies of all time. And it's a silent film, and it's still funny when you watch it today. It's amazing. Um, then we have had Emperor of the North with Ernest Borgnine. Um, uh, Stand By Me, a lot of portions of Stand By Me were filmed here. And then, of course, the big one that everybody knows is Animal House. Um, you know, the parade scene is right downtown Cottage Grove. Yeah, our main street is the main street. In fact, a lot of the things that you see in the movie back, that was filmed in 78 are still as they are today. A homestead furniture and, and several of the buildings. It's, it's crazy. It's like a time capsule. Now you do something to celebrate that, don't you? Yes. Uh, so this year is the 40th anniversary of the making of Animal House. And uh, at the 25 year anniversary, before I even moved here, Cottage Grove had decided uh, to try to have the world's record for largest toga party, and they got it back in. Seriously? Uh, yeah, 25 years ago, or excuse me, 15 years ago, at the 25 year anniversary, they had threw a big party, and we have since lost that anniversary, or I mean that uh, world record. So I was talking to some folks that were involved in that uh, about a year and a half ago. It's already been, we've been planning it this long, and I said, you know what, I want our record back. And I checked with Guinness, found out what we had to do. Guinness accepted our application. And on August 18th, 2018, we are going to throw, once again, the Guinness World Record <laughs> largest toga party. We've got Otis Day and the Knights committed. Um, he's coming back. He can't wait. He loves Cottage Grove. Um, several members of the original cast and crew. Uh, I think the gal that played Babs, she's coming. Niedermeyer's going to be here. Um, so Matt, it's good. Yeah. Go ahead. So, Mandy Pepperidge, from, you know, several of the folks. So it's going to be like a downtown and just a one big, huge toga party. Yeah, we're going to have, well, the toga party will be at Bohemia Park. And because uh, we had to, have the, you know, coordinate, we had to have a space big enough that could hold. And it's, and it's a beautiful park. Yeah, four or five thousand people is what we're hoping for in togas uh, to count for the record. We're also going to have a, a, a parade again, and uh, people can enter the parade, but you have to be something from that era. So either be in togas for the movie. It has to be tied into the movie. Now, another thing you guys are famous for is your mining history, because people still mine for gold here up in Bohemia Mountain. Yeah. And don't go looking for them, because you can get in a lot of trouble that way. Yeah, um, very, <laughs> we have a very active mining uh, mining community here still, and the mines are still going, and uh, you, you know you have to have a claim in order to go do that, so don't just go try a try and uh, find gold with your metal detector because you will probably get run off by some, some claim owners up there. And you have a celebration, Bohemia Mining Days comes up and it's a big party, street fairs, yeah. everything like that. Bohemia Mining Days is our, is our signature town festival. It's the third weekend in July every year. It's a wonderful town festival. We came uh, last year. Yeah, we did. We came yeah. last year and had a blast. Nice. A um, you guys are just like a really comfortable little community. Like We, we hung out in town. And we just had such a great time because everybody was so friendly and nice. You know what I mean? It and I'm not just saying that. It really is. Um, people here kind of treat you. It reminds me of Montana where our kid lives. Yeah. You know, you're here. Okay, great. You're no big deal. <laughs> you're just another person. Hang out, you know? That's, that's kind of the secret sauce around here is we, we draw you in. We're very welcoming. Um, we, we want you to come and experience Cottage Grove and have a great time and, you know, spend some money while you're here and uh, stimulate our economy. And, and, and give $350,000 to the project over there <laughs> in the Armory. Absolutely, yeah. We keep, we're right plugging that for, for Christina all day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well deserved because that, that pro Armory project is, is a huge help for, for wow. all the entire community. It's amazing. It's so really um, amazing. we got, there's also, you guys, they have a vineyard, Saginaw Vineyards. Um, we, we have several vineyards. So I mentioned the wine industry. People don't realize that Cottage Grove is actually a, a perfect gateway to two huge uh, wine regions. We've got, we're right on the southern tip of the Willamette Valley, the South Willamette Valley, which is known for their Pinots. I mean, they're known worldwide for their Pinots and, and the grapes that grow in that region. But we're also on the northern tip of the Umpqua uh, wine region. So. Cottage Grove is now starting to brand ourselves as being perfectly poised for wine tourism because you can come here, make this your hub, and you can go north for a day and you can check That's out great, yeah. certain varieties of wine that grow in, in that weather pattern. And then you can go south and hit the Umpqua Valley and you get two very distinct varieties of wines. Huh. The grapes grow differently because the weather patterns are different. Everything, there's 14 wineries within 40 minutes and, any, and the closest one's 10 minutes from here. And, and so, so you're staying in this cute little town mm -hmm. where, you know, where you, where you go downtown and you feel like you're back at turn of the century and, um, or two. Yeah. <laughs> and then during the day you go out and then at night you can come back and go, go out to the lake and yeah. cool yourself off in the lake. And 
There is no shortage of things to do here. It's incredible. I mean, it doesn't matter if you come here in the middle of the week because in the summertime, we have concerts in the park that we produce, a free concert at Bohemia Park uh, every Wednesday, 6.30 to 8 p.m. Uh, we bring in all kinds of different bands and you can bring your own picnic basket or you can get food there from a food vendor. They, we now have beer and wine available during the concerts, which is great. And, so where could people find that information? Let's say if they wanted to find out, what do you have the lineup for the for the summer events? Yeah, the so the best place is probably our, our Chamber of Commerce website, which yeah. is uh, www.cgchamber.com. And uh, we've got a community calendar on there, so anybody can post their events. I mean, whether it's a soccer fundraiser or if it's you know our chili cook-off which is the fourth Saturday in July right after Bohemian Mining Days we do a Main Street chili cook-off and a huge car show. Main Street will be full yeah. two or three thousand people are probably tasting chili and enjoying really cool cars it's uh, it's a really great event. Sounds like you've got a lot of fun things going on. Travis thank you I'm gonna read something because you guys I think this is really cool so we're in this big old lumber um, the, the trains used to come over this from Bohemia Mill up the Bohemia, way up the valley, come down in here to bring the lumber down here. And each shift of that, those mills produced 15.5 houses and they ran two shifts a day. Um, Cottage Grove was a lumber town, still is a lumber town, but it's also innovative. Um, they've got other companies we're going to introduce you today, Yurts, Pacific Yurt, we're going to introduce you to PacTech, um, doing some really super sustainable, um, recyclable stuff. And so, yeah, so it's like you've kept your old, but you've also found a way to bring in some new. And I just, I think you feel that here. Counterculture, that you guys have a huge counterculture down here, and loggers, and they all get along. We do. They don't I mean, always agree, but yeah. you know what? We're not supposed to agree. No, they, you'll see, you know, you'll yeah. see a lot of spirited debates on social media, but at the same time, soon, they all go to the same places, the, the same watering holes, and we're laughing and joking. When the debate's over, everybody's having a good time. What I love, and I'll just leave you people with this, what I really love about this town, I've always experienced this as a media reporter, is when it comes down to the end, um, you, you, you argue and you debate, but then people here seem to be able to go, what's best for Cottage Grove in the end? Yeah. You know what I mean? In the end, and I think we could all take and learn a good lesson from you guys because you've managed to do that really well, especially in this country today. So that's my little my little spiff for the day. But well, you really do a good job of that. It's certainly uh, by design and not by accident. We work very hard to try to you know have a great community to work well with each other and uh, make Cottage Grove the the gem that it is. It's really a wonderful town. Travis, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So we're gonna go next, you guys, talking about innovation. Um, smart city. They got a good city manager here. He's been here longer than any other city manager in the state of Oregon in a city. Um, and Richard's not here today, but we're going to go to their golf course. Um, not to show you much about golf, but about how sewage treatment and a golf course can go together. Very well. How's that for a, <laughs> a, a crappy intro? <laughs> so, you just have something you want to say? No. You were looking it, at yeah. me like, okay, Rick, I'm going to tell you something. We would love to see the carousel. Oh, Theodore, guess what? The, the carousel is on our list today. I can't tell you where because we're doing 12 different places. But we will be stopping by the carousel. We'll be listening to the music, talking to the folks, and show you some of those really cool horses and animals that go in that carousel, finding all about that project. So your, your wish is our command. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. All thanks right. again, Travis. Thanks a lot. So you guys get to their website, find out more about what's going on. This is the place to be this summer. We'll see you in about a half an hour from the golf course to kind of tell you how that and sewage have to do with each other.